All right, fellas, welcome back. Quick video today. I saw this floating around on Twitter, and I just knew I had to share it with you guys. So this tweet says, everyone in the comments is saying this is cute. Ted Bundy would have had a ball with this generation. Let's take a look. Sometimes I'm embarrassed to be friends with Becky. So we got a drunk chick, blackout, passed out in the bar, and some dude is stroking her hair. And the caption says, when my best friend always falls asleep on random men at the bar. I like how it says always, like this happens all the time apparently. Real grade A good example of some fatherless behavior. Something I really wouldn't want to see a video of my daughter doing, amongst many other things too, of course. You know, I remember an instance shortly after my 21st birthday where I had too many to drink, I went outside in the dead of winter, freezing cold at like midnight, and just fell asleep against some dude's car in the middle of the hood. Oddly enough, no girls came over and started stroking my hair and making sure I was all right. Of course, when my friends finally found me, they just laughed at me, even though I could have been robbed, killed, run over, you know, God knows. Thanks, guys. Thanks for nothing. What really should typically happen if you end up falling asleep at the bar from having too many to drink is that your friends should be responsible and nice and take you home. But instead, we want to get TikTok clout. So, of course, we take videos of our friends falling asleep in some random dude's arms. And God only knows what's going through his mind. Now, there was a lot of discourse on Twitter saying that this was so cute. Like, l look at the way he's stroking her hair. Look how much she cares. He looks like he needed this. They both look like they needed this. And just a bunch of other weird delusional bullshit that I not really surprised about finding on TikTok. Well, someone replied with a follow-up to this. It just says, insanity. So here's the next video that these girls posted. Hey guys, okay, so I posted a TikTok that blew up and long story short, my friend is in the video and she was hanging out with a guy and they still don't know each other, but we, we, want, we want her to know him now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm the bitch in the video, sleeping on the it's man. Her. I yeah. swear to God, I'm way more mentally sane now. But I want the guy in the video to see this. We're trying, so blow this one up because she did not get his number that night. I don't even know his name. I don't we don't know his name. name. We don't know his number. But the video is so cute. She, He's like kissing my head and shit. I'm like... She used to hate the video, but like, let's be honest, it's a cute video. It's cute. So blow this up for my birthday! Shut the fuck up! Goddamn, nigga! Alright, please stop talking, please. I'll blow up the video, I'll do whatever I can to help you find him, just... Don't speak another word, I'm begging. I'm now wondering if this creep at the bar is ever gonna see this video and what he's gonna do when he sees it. Like, if I was this dude and I saw this shit, I'd be like, yo. There's no shot I'm reaching out to you guys. Like, uh, I'm sorry. That was a good example of dodging a bullet. You almost fell for it. Almost fell for the bullshit, but let's just leave well enough alone now, no? Well, let's take a look at some of the brain dead comments on TikTok. Top comment with 170,000 likes. If you don't marry that man, that's a gem right there. For some reason, I saw this exact comment be reposted by Lana Rhodes from her verified TikTok account. Apparently she does this all the time where she goes on TikToks that blow up and just like repost the top comment. Fucking weird, bro. Like, don't you have a child now? <laughs> Why don't you get off TikTok and go be a mom? Clout chasing is truly a disease. As a woman, yeah, stranger danger. As a human, they both look like they needed that. But look at the way he's not even bothered. Oh my god, look at this. This is like hysteria here. Look at the way she types this. All caps, these stupid ass emojis. Yeah, obviously he's not even bothered, you know? This dude is a creep. You think creeps are gonna be bothered by hot chicks falling asleep on him at the bar? I think something we might need to do to really put this into context is imagine if it wasn't this good looking dude, right? What if it was some fat ass loser basement dweller who goes on Reddit all the time, acne, greasy ass ponytail, wireframe school shooter glasses. What if that's the dude she fell asleep on and he was stroking your hair and smelling it? Would you like that? Would you think that was cute? Nah, predatory behavior, my mind can't be changed. Bro, my BF, don't even be holding me like that. That's actually kind of funny. It looks like they've been in a relationship for eight years, have two kids together, and a golden retriever named Maggie. 
<laughs> All right. This is just pure delusion. I don't even know what to say. Like the bar is not only on the floor, but actually literally in hell. This chick in the comments is really over here fantasizing about two strangers who are sloppy drunk at the bar, basically passed out having some like middle class fancy life together. Weirdo behavior for real. Now here's some incel on his burner, but I think he's kind of got a point. Folding easily means your bar is low and you think the bare minimum is special and that'll get you hurt. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. I wouldn't type those words in a comment, but yeah, bare minimum is special. Yeah, that pretty much hits it right on the head. The top comment I saw on this Twitter thread, I think speaks for itself and in my opinion is the best interaction on this post. It says, bitches be like, my life is a movie. Yeah, a documentary on mental illness. Well, fellas, that's about enough goddamn internet for today. That was a lot to take in, a lot to unpack, and a lot to process, frankly. You know, I look, if she wants to find this dude and go be creepy with him again and, like, try to get TikTok cloud again because they're now getting followers, by all means, knock yourself out. But if I'm this dude, I'm not touching this shit with a 10-foot pole. Unless, of course, he has all <laughs> the wrong bad intentions, which... Actually, he probably does, so good luck to you guys. Anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm sure the fellas will have oh so much to say about all this, and I look forward to reading your comments as always. If you guys enjoyed the video or were absolutely horrified by it, then do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for more awesome, amazing videos just like this. Turn your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. Special thank you to my channel members, as always, for your extra support. You guys are the true MVPs, and I could not be doing this without you. Check out Defy Merch down below. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and my second channel. Links to everything is in the description. And I will see you dudes in the next video. Love you, bye. Stay safe, fellas, and avoid drunk bitches in the bar. For real.